it is time for a Labor government in New South Wales. The Liberals and Nationals do not deserve to be in power for 16 years. They have mismanaged the economy and put our state in over $182 billion in gross debt. And even with their colossal debt, the Liberal and National Government have managed to neglect our education and health systems. Consequently, our schools and hospitals are in crisis. Our education system is at breaking point and the Government is ignoring the crisis. Over 28,000 permanent teachers have left our public schools between 2010 and 2021. Under the Liberals and Nationals, our teachers are burnt out and have been leaving in droves. An Upper House Committee survey indicates 60% of survey teachers plan on leaving the profession in the next five years, with the majority blaming their departure on unmanageable workloads. Job insecurity is rampant for our teachers, with 40% of the workforce on casual or temporary contracts. The chronic shortages are impacting our kids as they are constantly being left with cancelled or merged classes. Education outcomes for our students are at all-time lows. Recent NAPLAN results even demonstrate that grammar and punctuation outcomes for Year 9 boys are the worst on record. The Liberals and Nationals do not have a plan to deal with the teacher shortage crisis. In fact, the Minister for Education has been caught out misleading the public by saying that there weren't thousands of teacher shortages, when in reality her own data demonstrated that at the start of Term 4 there were 2,458 vacant positions. Our students and teachers deserve better from the Liberals and Nationals. Labor does have a comprehensive plan to address the teacher shortage crisis by bringing back permanency to the profession. A MINS Labor government will convert 10,000 temporary teachers to permanent to ensure teachers have certainty and confidence in their profession. Labor will decrease the admin load on our teachers by five hours a week, providing teachers with further time to focus on student outcomes. We'll get rid of classroom distractions by restricting mobile use in high schools. Our Labor team understands the issues that schools are facing. For instance, our candidate for Camden, Sally Quinnell, knows firsthand the mess that the Liberals have created in our schools and the issues facing teachers. Sally is a passionate school teacher and has taught across Camden schools. Sally knows the residents of Sydney South West are sick of their kids being stuck in demountables and overcrowded schools and that they're also tired of the broken promises from the Liberals on building new schools. Sally will always fight for the best educational outcomes for our students. After 12 years of a Liberal and National Government, our health system is in crisis. The devastating understaffing and underinvestment of our health system has had a catastrophic impact on the ability of our residents to access treatment and care. Emergency wait times have been at record highs. Our residents should not be waiting multiple days to access a bed in our state's hospitals or be forced to leave hospital without any treatment. Health professionals have been publicly sounding the alarms on a failing health system. Our nurses and midwives have been leaving the system or dropping their hours. Our health workers are under enormous pressure and their deep concerns have been ignored by the Liberals and Nationals. We have listened to our health workers. A MINS Labor government will prioritise the structural repair of our system. Labor will employ a further 1,200 nurses and midwives and we will be introducing minimum and enforceable safe staffing levels into public hospitals, starting with emergency departments and then to other areas such as maternity wards and ICUs. A Labor government will also provide $150 million for 500 additional paramedics. A MINS Labor government will put families first by ensuring we address the crisis in our health and education systems. We simply cannot trust the Liberals and Nationals when it comes to resourcing our schools and hospitals. They have failed us for 12 years.